Hey everyone, so in today's video I'm bringing you the absolute best and the not so best, the worst affordable cream highlights out there. I tried out 12 different formulas of cream highlights. I really wanted to give you guys some awesome options and there were definitely some duds, but there are some of like my new standbys and some products that really do feel like luxe makeup. If you guys are new to my channel, I love cream products a lot and I try them out often. So I'm a little bit finicky with formulas. I'm a little bit picky. I really like for my cream highlights to look like skin except just amplify my skin if I had a facial that day my skin with just a little bit more pop but I don't like my cream highlights to be too subtle if that makes sense because I often find that my foundations if I'm wearing a more dewy foundation it's going to give me a little bit of glow anyway so to take the extra step I really want it to be doing the most but we have a lot to go through today so let's just jump right in and make sure that you subscribe and give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy it so let's start off on a good note shall we this is actually a cream highlight that a lot of you were super excited about and you really wanted me to try it is the flower beauty day glow highlighting glaze it retails for $10.99 and you get 0.12 ounces in here so this is definitely at the top range of more affordable cream highlights they come in two different shades i have the shade stunner which is the lighter of the two shades flower beauty describes this as a lightweight glaze balm product that is going to give you really dewy and glassy skin personally i think that flower beauty has done something really unique with this formula when you actually put your finger into the pan it's not one of those cream highlights where you feel like you could just stick your finger all the way into the back of the pan like it's not too emollient it actually has a sort of stiffness to it and the formula itself is very thin so though i typically look for emollients i want some emollients to my cream products so that they blend well on the skin it's actually really nice when they're a little bit thinner because they're not going to feel like a lot on the skin which i also am pretty aware of now that i have bangs and i've had bangs for a while i started to notice that some of my favorite cream highlights would kind of get stuck in them if that makes sense so that's something i'm always aware of now so the formula itself is more of a balm with a sheen throughout it it actually doesn't have a lot of base pigment to it but i would call the color more of a pinky champagne and surprisingly enough when you apply it to the skin the finish doesn't remain too tacky but it looks very wet this is definitely one of those products where it looks like super glassy and wet skin but i really like again that the texture is more thin and it doesn't remain too tacky this is great if you want a more natural balmy and wet highlight but you want it to kind of get amped up a little bit so it looks really wet and juicy on the skin but it still has like a pearliness to it. It's not like a clear balm. So I think the formula itself is really nice in that way. Personally, I apply this with a finger and I just sort of tap it onto the areas where I want that really wet look. I don't recommend building up this product a lot. So I think if you really build it up, it might start to feel uncomfortable on the skin. I would just recommend using a little bit to the areas of the cheeks where you like it. I actually don't think you need as much product as you would think. And when you apply it, again, it's going to give you that really natural radiance, but just amped up a little bit. The wear time isn't super long wear, but it's definitely longer than more of the balmy highlights that I've worn in the past. I definitely get around five to six hours of wear with this product. Overall, this to me is definitely one of those formulas, and I feel like Flower Beauty is known for this, for creating a formula that feels more luxe. It's combining the balminess that I think is really on trend and a lot of people really enjoy, but it just is amped up a little bit. Overall, I think a lot of you will really enjoy this one, and this is one that I was super excited to find. So thanks guys for asking me to try it. Now, speaking of more balmy and natural products, we have the Burt's Bees All Aglow Illuminating Stick. It retails for $12.99 and you get 0.32 ounces in here. Definitely a significant amount of product. It comes in, I believe, three different shades. Don't quote me on that. Um, I actually have the lightest shade, which is Opal Mist. So Burt's Bees describes this as a product that's really going to hydrate the skin it does have a hydrating core within the middle but it's also going to kind of enhance the face it's going to give you a really dewy and fresh highlighted look so again it does have the moisturizing core in the middle i feel like we should just kind of call it what it is i really feel like this 
product is heavily inspired by the halo scope sticks from glossier the formula on this is actually not what i was expecting personally i was expecting it to feel super thick it's definitely more on the thin side it's not a cream stick i think too that is going to like melt and get really messy within the tube because this formula is much more thin it smells like a lip smackers flavor that i just haven't been able to think of and it's kind of driving me nuts. So all that is to say that this doesn't actually feel too oily or too rich, which I was worried about. As for the finish, it kind of just looks like skin, almost as if you were wearing just a dewy foundation. It just gives you a little bit of light. It's very natural, pretty subtle actually, a little bit more subtle than I would typically reach for. The sort of sheen that it gives my cheeks is what I'm already getting from a foundation. The color I think is really pretty. It's a slightly more pinky champagne color. It's just a soft color with a bit of dew and the color itself is actually very close to quartz from Glossier. As for the application, it's really easy to apply and I didn't find that this picked up my foundation, which I was a little bit worried about. Very easy makeup, great for kind of on the go. You don't really need a mirror to apply it. You can kind of just tap it onto the cheeks and it'll give you that really subtle dewy effect. Again, I don't think it's that it doesn't look pretty. I think it looks pretty. It's just a little bit underwhelming for me. The wear time is a little bit shorter with any product like this, it always is. The highlight's just gonna kind of fade into the rest of your makeup as you continue to wear it. To quickly compare this to the Halo Scope from Glossier because I feel like I'm gonna get questions about this. You guys know I'm a Glossier rep, but I actually don't use Halo Scope because it has coconut oil in it. And I break out from coconut oil. It's a known comedogenic ingredient. I'm not sure why brands continue to put it into products. I also feel like a broken record because I talk about this a lot on my channel, but Halo Scope does have coconut oil in it. And it just so happens that this also does. So I wouldn't recommend this one personally. If you don't have a problem with coconut oil, then you might really like it. And I actually do prefer this formula to Halo Scope because it's a little bit thinner. Halo Scope's slightly more thick and more tacky, but I will say that that one's going to give you even more of like a dewy glazed look. This one is very, very subtle. And next we have a highlight from Wet n Wild. It's the Mega Glow Illuminator. I have the shade When the Nude Strikes. I'm actually not sure if there are other shades with in the range so it retails for $4.49 and you get 0.21 ounces of product in here so this is a really great deal so you guys probably already know from my best affordable cream blush video and if you haven't watched that I'll leave it linked down below I definitely recommend you see it but I love the blush sticks from wet n wild a really really pretty formula so I was excited to try this because I wanted to see if all of their sticks were really nice so this formula to me is kind of like a cream to powder there's a nice creamy to it it's really easy to apply but it sets down to a more powdery finish but it doesn't look like powder on the skin which I like I like that it still looks like a cream because a lot of the times I use cream products because I like the finish that it gives I like that it looks creamy on the skin so this still looks creamy on the skin but it sets down so if you're one of those people that really don't like your cream highlights to sort of remain tacky on the skin I think that this is a really good option this definitely has more of a base pigment to it. This is a pigment highlight rather than a balm with a sheen throughout. Reflective sort of pink shade, but it doesn't read as overly pink on the cheeks. It kind of just looks more like a sheen and the shine is definitely there. The finish to me isn't necessarily metallic, but to me, it reminds me more of a traditional cream highlight. Formula actually reminds me quite a bit of the old stick highlights from Smashbox. It will definitely give you a pop to your cheeks for sure. So for that reason, whenever I'm applying this, I like to go in with a light hand and sort of really press it into the skin to make sure that it melts in with the rest of my makeup. I think that's really important with applying cream highlights in general. I think if you go with too much of this product, it might start to look textured, but when you take your time and you build it up, it looks really pretty. And I love that it kind of gives the cheeks a pop without it looking too overdone. That's one thing that I also love about cream highlights in general. I think you run way less of a risk of the product looking unflattering. And because of this formula, because of the texture, that sort of cream to powder finish, it works really easily with other products. It's not too dewy and I do find that sometimes more dewy products run the risk of picking up your foundation or not working well with other products. This one is really easy to work with. Because it has a base pigment to it and because of the formula as well, it definitely lasts a lot longer on my cheeks. 
I got a solid seven hour wear out of it. Overall, I think if you don't want a really fussy cream highlight, you want one that's going to really easily blend. It's going to last on the skin and work really well with other products. And one that just looks healthy, but it's going to give you a little bit more pop. I think that this one is really good. Actually trying out some of the cream bronzers from Wet n Wild for an affordable cream bronzer video. Make sure that you're subscribed to check out that video. Next, let's talk about the cream highlight that I'm wearing on my skin today. I am so glad that I picked this one up. It is the new Skin Lights from Revlon. This is actually a re-release. I'm not positive if they changed the formula because I never tried the first one, but Daisy Cash here on YouTube said that this was like her all-time favorite highlighter. So I had to pick it up because I love everything that she recommends. You get a full ounce of product, which is awesome, and it retails for $11.99. There are two different shades. I have the lighter of the two, which is Sunrise Luster. This is a little bit deeper than it looks like on the Ulta website, so keep that in mind. So Revlon calls this a three-in-one product. So it works as a primer, you can add it to foundation as like a glow booster, or you can apply it onto the cheekbones, which is what I did today. It's a liquid formula that has more of a thin texture, which is definitely different than some other like glowy lotion products out there. This to me feels like a true liquid highlight that is actually versatile and easy to work with. And funny enough, this product actually does set down a little bit, which I was surprised. I wasn't expecting the formula to work like that, but I really enjoy it for that reason. I can't really feel it at all on my skin today. This Sunrise Luster is kind of like a pinky light bronze. It is slightly too dark for me, but when I'm wearing it actually on my skin it really blends in well and looks good the formula is a great mid-ground in my opinion it gives me a little bit more than i would typically get with a foundation it looks highlighted it looks dewy and fresh you'll probably get compliments on your skin rather than your highlight which is personally what i always go for it also applies super easily i just tap it in with a finger you could easily use more of like a fluffy highlighting brush as well you could definitely build it up because it does set down you could work in layers and do it that way but I just love the way it is on its own one layer it looks natural it looks really fresh never exaggerates texture even though it does set down it will last a little bit longer because it does set down definitely more of a middle ground with wear time overall I really enjoy this it actually reminds me quite a bit of the Marc Jacobs coconut gel highlight that's one that I was a huge fan of but now I prefer something a little bit more subtle and this to me is a slightly more subtle version of that obviously way more affordable and I love how versatile this product is. So personally, I think that this one is one of the best. And next we have three shades of the ColourPop Super Shock highlighters. These retail for $8 and you get 0.15 ounces of product. There are eight different shades, at least on Ulta's website. If you have never tried the Super Shock formula, it's really plush and it sort of squishes under your finger, but it's also very thin. They have that emollients of a cream, but they go on more like a creamy powder. Lunch Money is a classic champagne and the finish is more on the subtle side and Wisp is a pinky bronze that's more on the subtle side and then we have Flexitarian which is a really bright metallic icy shade so the shades do vary in actual formula these all apply really easily and evenly onto the cheeks lunch money is great if you just want a super easy and very subtle highlight it's going to give you a little bit of sheen on the cheeks i think it's a little bit too subtle for me to reach for all the time but i do know a lot of you will really enjoy this one and i do think that this is kind of like a cult favorite i was actually afraid that wisp was going to be too dark for me but this is really pretty i actually find that it gives me a little bit more glimmer than lunch money and it's slightly too dark for me but I actually think I can pull it off and flexitarian which on its own if I were to just apply this I would not like the way it looks it's way too metallic it would look really like a lot of highlight on the skin which is not something that I like but what I actually like to do is take a little bit just a touch it on the back of my hand and mix it in with a primer and making a liquid highlight with flexitarian and applying it onto the cheekbones it looks absolutely gorgeous it looks so reflective so glassy so out of all three my preferred would not normally be flexitarian but in the way that i apply it it is absolutely my favorite these are great cream products if you don't like feeling like you have cream product on the skin if you want something really easy you can use them with a finger you can use them with a brush and they actually do wear a little bit longer than you would expect because of the formula overall i think that these are really really nice and let me know if you do have flexitarian 
flexitarian and you try that little trick out because I think you guys are really gonna like that. Next we have a product that I had actually originally decluttered and I pulled it back out because a lot of you wanted some more details on the Physicians Formula Dewy Highlight from their new organic wear line. I have the shade Dew Frost. There's also one darker shade. It retails for $8.39 and you get 0.3 ounces. So this is a more creamy cream highlight. It's not a balmy highlight. It doesn't have a lot of tackiness to it. To me, it's a very classic cream highlight texture. Something that I have found to be the case with this that wasn't with the Organic Wear Cream Bronzer is that within the actual tube, I find the texture to be a little bit uneven. It could be like the butters and the emollient ingredients that they used weren't completely blended so it does feel a little bit uneven but once you warm up the product it obviously isn't going to have that texture. I do wish that the product and the formula itself felt a little bit smoother. Dew Frost is a really pretty pinky white shade great for those of you with fair skin and this is more of a natural finish product for sure. It applies really easily again once you kind of warm it up on the finger and then apply it you're not going to have issues with the formula. I think it looks nice looks natural. It's just a little bit underwhelming to me. Again, when I'm reaching for a cream highlight, I want it to kind of give me a little bit more, make my skin look really glassy and really give me something extra. And I just feel like this one is not extra. And for some reason, I still feel like I can see this product sitting on my skin a little bit. It wears fine on the skin, but as a whole, I just find myself a little bit blah about the product. I don't think it's bad. I don't think it's amazing. But the cream bronzer is amazing. The organic wear cream bronzer is great. Next, we have the Catrice Dewy Wet Look Stick. So whenever I mentioned the Becca Glow Glaze Stick or the new Fenty Highlight, those are two like translucent balm products with a sheen to them that just look like wet skin. And every time I talk about those products, you guys are like, have you tried the Dewy Stick from Catrice? We would love for you to compare them. So I decided to try this out for this video to hopefully give you guys some answers. It retails for $6.75 and you get 0.21 ounces in here. So this is a transparent gloss with a light glitter with throughout. It's actually not really a glitter. It's more of a shimmer, like a pink shimmer. But honestly, it doesn't translate as pink when I apply it to my cheeks. But the base of it, you can even see it in the tube, is just balm. It definitely feels like a true balm. The actual formula itself doesn't set down, but it looks very, very wet. And if you want that like fresh out of the facial, really dewy, wet look to your cheeks, you will absolutely get it from this. And it also applies well. Whenever I try on a product like this, I like to make sure that it doesn't pick up my foundation. And this one doesn't. When I just apply it onto my cheeks, it gives me that immediate, really, really wet look. Great for those of you that like that more dewy and glazed look. And it fades out onto the skin to just look like skin. So it's not going to patch off oddly. And the wear time is actually decent for a product like this. It's just gonna leave you with a little bit of glow. This is not a product I would recommend for those of you with oily skin. I'm sure you don't have any issues with your cheeks getting dewy throughout the day. I think that this is a great alternative for those of you that don't want to spend the extra money on something like the Becca Glow Glaze Stick or the new highlight from Fenty. Great if you just want that really wet, dewy cheek look. And if you go in with a light hand, you, you can kind of just hit the places you exactly want it. For me, using this as an all over cream highlight every day isn't what I would typically go for, but just sort of pinpointing very lightly and giving my skin an extra gleam is the way that I would use this. I think that they are discontinuing it because it was on sale on the Catrice website. So if you've been looking at this or you think that formula would work for you, I would definitely check it out before it's discontinued. So the next product we're talking about is a hidden gem that one of you told me about. It is the AOA Studio Wonder Skin Illuminating Primer. It retails for $1 and you get 0.67 ounces of product in here. So yes, $1. If you guys aren't familiar with AOA, a lot of their products are $1 on their site, like $1 to $2. So I wasn't sure what to expect from this because it is so freaking cheap. There is only one shade in this range. There aren't multiple shades. So, so good for what you pay. And not even for what you pay. Like if you repackage this and said this was like 
light, natural cream highlight from Insert Luxe brand, I would believe it. It has a thin sort of moisturizer texture to it. It's not too emollient, which I think a lot of you will really enjoy, but it still feels hydrating and moisturizing on the skin. The color is more of a light pink. It still lets your skin shine through, but this finish is incredible. It is so gorgeous. It just looks like really hydrated and dewy skin. It really gives me exactly what I look for with a cream highlight. Give you that really wet and dewy look to your skin while also setting down a little bit. This doesn't remain emollient on the skin. It kind of sets down and really sinks in, which I love. I personally just apply it to the tops of my cheekbones and call it a day. It's incredibly easy to work with. And yes, they call it a primer, like this is a priming product, but using it as a cream highlight on the skin is how I like to use it and see how pretty and natural it looks. It's not the most long wearing product, but it's a dollar, so you can't really go wrong. Next we have the JCAT Quad, the Spectrum Palette. A lot of you are wondering if this was a dupe for the RMS Beauty Palette. It retails for $5.99 and you get 0.21 ounces of product in here. And there are four different shades. There is an icy pink, like a true icy white, a more true pink shade, and then a more warm toned gold. So you definitely get some options throughout here for a good price. The formula itself is creamy, but it's not too thick. It has almost a silky sort of quality to it. When it's actually applied to the skin, I find it really subtle. It looks creamy, it looks fresh, but it's a little bit more on the subtle side. So I think a lot of you will really enjoy that. And it doesn't feel like a lot of product on the skin. To me, these are very like classic, creamy based highlights. But for some reason, I was just a little bit underwhelmed by these. I think they're really pretty, especially if you like to kind of mix your own perfect highlighting color. Like I should like this, I think a little bit more than I do. It could just be because now I'm comparing this to some of like the highlights that I'm super excited about, like the ColourPop highlights or the Skin Lights from Revlon. They give you a highlighted sort of color, but I don't find that they're really reflective, which is what I like in a cream highlight. So overall, not bad, just not one that I will be reaching for a lot. Next, we have a product that I have not seen a lot of people talk about. It's the Vitalist Healthy Glow Highlighter from CoverGirl. It retails for $5.97 and you get 0.25 ounces of product in here. So CoverGirl says that this is an ultra smooth texture. It's gonna barely feel like any makeup on the skin. This formula and this texture though to me is very bizarre. It feels quite hard in the actual pot. I didn't think I was going to get along with very well. There isn't a ton of base pigment to this product. It is just like an icy white glitter that has been heavily sort of packed into a balm. But they are right, like this doesn't actually feel like a lot of product once it's applied to the skin. The finish of the product is quite glittery, but for some reason, when you apply it to the skin, especially if you look at your cheeks from far away, it looks really reflective and really gorgeous. But up close, you can see that there is a lot of visible glitter there. You can kind of see where the glitter starts and ends. Actually reminds me quite a bit of the diamond powder from Fenty, like that icy white highlight that she does. If you were looking for a dupe of that at a more affordable price, I would definitely recommend this. I think it'd be great for photography it's just not really a product that I would ever use because I don't use glitter products on my cheeks. I think a brush is the best way to go with this to kind of fan out the product. It'll start to fade out and just look like glitter on the cheeks the longer that you wear it. I think it'll actually be good for a lot of people, just not one for me. Next we have a classic for sure. It is the True Match Lumi Glotion from L'Oreal. There are four different shades. I have the shade Fair and you get 0.135 ounces in here for $12.74. I believe it's on sale right now. Great value, but keep in mind that this is typically used as a primer. They say it's good for like an all over fresh and natural glow. As for the formula, it definitely feels like a lotion, like a more lightweight lotion on the skin. It does actually have glycerin. I love glycerin. It really pulls in moisture from your surroundings, but it also has alcohol pretty high up in the ingredient list, which is not ideal for something that you're applying all over your face, but for something just to put on the cheeks and wear throughout the day, I don't really have an issue with it. And it just doesn't feel heavy on the skin. This to me sits somewhere between the AOA and the Skin Lights. I think the Skin Lights has the most glow to it. 
This is kind of in the middle and then the AOA is the more natural of the three options, but all three are pretty natural. This one just feels really comfortable on the skin. It's not going to be too wet. Actually, when you apply it, it's really easy to apply if you just tap it onto the cheeks and it does kind of set down a little bit. It's probably from the addition of the alcohol. It's just really flattering and it looks like skin. The fair shade is a light pink that I think is really flattering. You can still see your skin through the product and it actually wears a decent amount of time on my skin. Overall, it's a really nice product and I can see why a lot of people really, really enjoy this one. And lastly, oh my gosh, if you are watching still and you're getting through this entire video, I wanted to thank you so much. Thank you for watching. Anyway, so lastly, we have the AOA Duochrome Dewy Cream Highlight. This is also a $1 product. You get 0.12 ounces of product within the pan. There are five different shades and I personally have the shade Dream. It's a creamy white color with just a shift of like pink, slightly more red. The formula is more on the thin side, but it's also kind of like moussey. It almost feels like it has like a whipped texture to it. Once it's on the skin, you can't really feel it. It sort of kind of just melts into the rest of your makeup. It has more of that duochrome sort of finish, but I don't really notice it a ton on the skin. It's really easy to apply and it looks nice. Um, but it's just a little bit underwhelming. I wanted a little bit more from this product. It wears nicely. I think the color is unique, but if I'm also being honest, I prefer something without a lot of actual like base color to it. One that sort of lets your skin shine through. And I just find that this one was just a little bit awkward on the skin. For a buck, I'm not mad at it, but I don't think I'm gonna be reaching for it a lot. I know that that was a long one, so thank you again for watching. I will leave my best affordable cream blush video down below and make sure you're subscribed because I have a best and worst affordable cream bronzer video as well. Really excited about that. I'll link all these products down below for you guys. And if you still have questions about any of them, please let me know. I'm always here to help. Thank you. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in my next one.